Alright guys, if you've been experiencing frustrating FPS drops and stuttering in Fortnite Season 4, well, I have 10 methods to show on how to prevent FPS drops and boost FPS. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I'm on my way to 2,000 subscribers. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. So, the first method is to update your graphics drivers, and you should be updating them every season or when the latest one is available. First, you want to open the NVIDIA app, then on the left, go to the Drivers tab, click on the Check for Updates button, the NVIDIA app will scan for the latest drivers for your GPU. If a new driver is available, you'll see the option to download it. Click on the Download button. Once the download is complete, click on Express Installation. Now your GPU drivers are updated. Method 2. Let's close background apps. Just go down to the bottom right hand side of our taskbar and click on our task icon tray. And in here, all the active apps on your PC are displayed. Go ahead and close out any and all apps that you don't need open while playing Fortnite by right-clicking on these applications and exiting out of them. This will boost your FPS and free up system resources. Method 3 is to disable startup apps. You can do that by heading into the settings that's on the left side go into apps and click on the startup section and this will be the list of all the applications that open up when you boot your PC and them causing windows to take longer to load and even causing performance to be affected in general. So what you're going to do is to disable each app that you don't need to open when you turn on your PC. First off, Spotify, I don't need it, so I'll disable that one and do the same for all or any of the apps that you don't need to open up when you run your PC. Next up, method four, changing your power plan. So press the Windows key and type edit power plan. When this Windows opens up, click on change advanced power settings. This one will pop up by default and will be on balance, but you should set this to high performance or ultimate performance. If this drop down, choose high performance. Now this uses more of your PC power and results in a boost in your FPS. Click apply and OK. But if you want ultimate performance, you can open up the CMD as an administrator and type in this command that I have in the description, and then it'll let you have that power plan. Method 5. Next, let's optimize some Windows settings to get more performance out of our PC. Press the Windows key, search for settings. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, then over to Game Bar. Now turn this thing off. Game Bar consumes a lot of memory in the background, and disabling it will help you increase your performance. But the thing is that it is not fully disabled, so at the end of this video, I will show you how to completely disable it as a bonus. Moving on, go back to the gaming section and enable game mode. Now right beneath that, you'll find graphics. Simply go over to this, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as increase the performance of your games. Next method is to verify game files. Open up the Epic Games Launcher and once you're there, go to your library, click on the three dots next to Fortnite and click verify. What verifying does is, well, this will check for any corrupted files and outdated files and will in turn repair them and re-download them. Now, next quick tip, check your temperatures. Ensure your PC is well ventilated. Overheating can cause crashes and frame drops. Clean out dust from your fans and reapply new thermal paste on your CPU. Just make sure your PC is cool enough to prevent performance throttle. Method number 8, Compatibility Tweaks. To do that, go to the install location of Fortnite. Once you locate your folder, go into the Fortnite game binaries Win64, and in here you'll find win64shipping.exe. Right-click on it, go over to Properties, and then go to Compatibility, and then click on Disable Full Screen Optimizations. This will put Fortnite in an exclusive full screen mode, lowering your input latency and giving you a slight FPS boost. Click on OK, Apply, and then OK on here as well. Now, the second to the last method is to clear temporary files. I've covered this plenty of times, but I'll go over it quickly as well. First, hit Windows and R to open up the Run menu. In the Run dialog, type TEMP or Temp and click OK. This will open up the Temp folder. Now, in this folder, hit Ctrl and A to select every single file in this folder. Next, click Delete. Check the Do This for All Current Items box and click Continue. Some of these items might not be deleted because you might have an application open that's using them. If this happens, click Do This for All Current Items and skip those files. Now that you've cleared a temp folder, hold Windows and R again and type percent %temp%. Percent. This should open up another temporary folder. Do the same thing, click on one file, hit Ctrl and press A to select all, right click and click delete. By the way, you don't need these files and they're just temporary, so it won't break your PC. Next, head over to your desktop, right click on the recycle bin and select Empty Recycle Bin. Alright, for method 10, you should try 
using stretch rest. And by now, you should know that there are benefits like a boost in FPS on a stretch FOV. Choosing the right resolution can be a bit tricky. At the lowest end of the stretch resolutions, you have options like 800x600 and 1280x768. For low-end PCs, which although may look quite pixelated and less visually appealing, can make the game run very smoothly. This is because they are less demanding on your system and can provide a slight FPS boost. On the other hand, more playable resolutions such as 1440x1080 are also popular. For instance, Martos himself enjoys these resolutions. However, I think the best resolution right now, and one that has been popular for quite a while, is 1720x1080. This resolution is used by Peter Bot, the current FNCS champion. But if you want to get a stretch resolution, I'll leave a link in the comment section to my guide on how to do it. Before the video ends, I'll show you how to disable the Xbox Game Bar completely. A big shout out to Electron for finding out this optimization. So, if you want to get rid of it, run Windows PowerShell as an administrator, and then copy and paste the text from the description to permanently remove the Xbox Game Bar. If you're someone who uses the Xbox Game Bar to record clips, please consider switching to OBS. It takes way fewer resources and won't drop your FPS. If you want to optimize your PC for Fortnite Season 4, go ahead and click on this video link right here. Thank you.